It's like a racetrack, really. Over the past five years, there have been 39 crashes involving pedestrians or bicyclists on the stretch of the road within Coleraine Township. Five of them were fatal. I helped a person that um, basically got hit going through the crosswalk while the lights was on. Workers at the Sunoco near the main crosswalk on Coleraine between Banning and Galbraith say they've seen too many crashes. She just came out the store and probably about five minutes later, somebody came and ran in and said uh, she, she got hit. And we went out there and I helped her and she, he hit her in the grass, matter of fact, from the street to the grass. That's how fast he, he was going. So I have to look into the camera for the cops and stuff just to make sure that nothing's wrong with the, on this trip. And it isn't getting any better. There has been an accident on Coleraine Avenue almost every day this year. In 2021, ODOT installed a crosswalk with flashing lights to help pedestrians, but most drivers still aren't stopping. They're looking to add more lighted signs to alert drivers of the crosswalk well before they see it. These will actually trigger, they will come on when somebody pushes the button to cross at the ped crossing. A lot of the crashes in this stretch are happening at night and work is underway to put in more lighting. We are also working on improving the sidewalk network um, in the area. We've got a project that's going on right now between Shady Crest and John Rose. ODOT also installed a camera to more closely monitor the intersection. The workers at Sunoco hope to see things like speed bumps or even a stoplight. Slow down. Save lives. Just slow down. That's all you got to do. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.